Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> Berkeley. Yeah, so this is an AR a Raman a composition. This this song has been really requested lately, uh, but uh, it's done by the Berkeley students of Indian classical music. Quite lengthy uh, in piece, that, I see. Yeah, in that in that exposition they did. Um, years we've ago. seen bits of them, right? Like we've seen a few. Yes, of them. we have seen a few. Okay, let, let's give it. But a this watch. is one of his most popular compositions as Kun well. Faya Kun. Uh huh. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I'm pumped too. I expect insane complexity. Indeed. Look at that harmonium. He was the violinist in the previous yeah, pieces. Yeah, he was. Yes, 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 The yes, guy, yes. the red hair guy. Yeah, I on. did. In the corner. Fire, 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 Mike. She's the pianist. She's the pianist. She's, she's oh, she's not, not singing. singing. She's just singing because she wants to, I think. Oh, right. Uh, maybe she's directing the vocals. Maybe she directs the 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 choir line, and her singing is just yeah, directional. So sometimes um, when you're singing, you're playing. It's like yeah, you have no. I actually voice. think it's that is directional. I okay. think perhaps she might be the one leading the the choir itself. By the way, it's a really interesting choice of unison. For such a complex piece, given that the soloists are so intricate, the the lines in the solos are so intricate and they're highly melodic, to have the unison format in in so throughout far in the, the song throughout the whole, and it's a it's a lower chanting, yeah, it gives vibration. It a more, certainly gives it a more communal sound, like we're in this together. Yes, but it's a it's a lower range. It's a it's a steadier yeah. melody it's not so dynamic well it can't be right nature. if it's if it's so if it's so could communion. be though could be which is the reason why i'm thinking interesting choice of arrangement but if it had such dynamism and well if it had such dynamics and it was in a choir setting like this wouldn't it be overwhelming especially given the bizarre chord progression and the predominance in um minor percussion mm -hmm. you want those dynamic there are enough dynamics on its own yeah yeah, yeah. you see what it's, i mean it's highly rhythmical isn't it well it's the tabla welcome wel great. welcome to the indian music industry the i think they bet the industry which really really understood what minor percussion is yeah it's for. like the highlight and i think of the environment and i think the world understood it they understood it before most of the world did mm. in terms of as an industry yeah i really do because it's so prevalent 
now it, in the so heavily integrated. Com- it's in, so integrated in their culture. Though. Yeah, it's so prevalent now in the heavily commercialized thing that so. music had become, has mm-hmm. become. Yeah, I agree. So I, agree. I think they've understood it the best. Certainly the best. to take throughout a whole lifetime if I could just pick multiple courses to to just study this would be one of them Indian music industry I would take this course in I Berkeley what, I wonder what the course is called would it be Indian classical music Indian classical music? maybe you could do Indian I don't know contemporary what. music yeah, be interesting this is the contemporary side of the Indian so anyone from Berkeley watching I'd love to know and what it was like, if you're maybe from a different... I'm going to go to their website. ...cultural background, right? And, you know, you're kind of like us. You <clears throat> you you played music from something else. You must have, I mean, if you got to Berkeley School of Music, you mm. certainly must <laughs> be fucking good at something. Um, I'll, you're I'll not at several argue. things. <laughs> i actually argue, yeah. You're, you're already very you're good. You're basically <laughs> above average in most things. And then you're very, very good at, at specific one single thing, things. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'll argue if if you made it to that level of music, you know, not that we ever tried, but I don't, I I don't, the people that we know is like that have gone to that specific kind of route, dude, they're fucking special. It's just a completely they're different special, breed of musicians. Like, but special, dude. For curiosity purposes, just to understand it better, I would take this course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is such, and there's some magical essence to it. Like it, you, it can only be experienced through actually doing it, actually singing, being part you of it. You see how how involved and consumed yes. they are by the piece, and That's it's right. awesome. But yeah, so if anyone from Berkeley is watching, or any sort of, I guess, a person who has taken a more academic right into mm-hmm. uh, academic route into understanding mm-hmm. uh, Indian music, do do please let us know and also send us a message. I'll be more than happy to have a chat. I know it's very difficult. I try and read all the messages. I truly do. And and I wish Instagram would let you guys know that I seen your request because now he lets me know. Like if I've seen a message, yeah. the little blue dot disappears. Ah, right. So now new messages in requests. The only problem is I can't accept everyone because then my phone would literally explode. <laughs> and that's a huge honor to say. Uh, you guys are incredible. And all the amounts of information and, and learning that we do through you, it's insanity. But I do read them. And I do still feel free to post all the... Like, sometimes I saw one of you, like, well, actually a few of you, apologize. It's like, oh, fuck, sorry, this is so long. I'm rambling. It's like, no, no, no. It's like, it's, I mean, if anyone talks about rambling and speaking, I mean, I mean, you're in the right place. <laughs> That's why we made it into a podcast, because at the end of the day, we, we, we like to share so much. It. And, um, yeah, so no need to apologize for that. And, it, yeah, if you have any articles or anything like that, you, you think are appropriate or other videos, 
uh, some some of them I, I love some of these messages that it's like you know maybe you don't have to react to this but you can watch them in your own time mm -hmm. uh, do watch them. I think it's really informative especially with the percussion stuff as you guys know that that's kind of my area and uh, yeah so th uh, not to turn this into a you know thanks video but yeah do, do really I, I really appreciate it me too I totally agree with that Mike now, the fella, the violinist, do you remember? From oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's really equalized. It's just fantastic. Yes, sir. Oh, the drag of the tempo. hard from the start. Yeah, he's... Whoa! You see, those are the type of diminishes that I was talking about. And the tablet is just carrying... The original The tempo. whole piece, bro. Yeah. How do they find these notes? The harmonian is just holding one solid note throughout the whole thing. How is she finding these things? Like I don't understand it. It's like she has well, she has the frame. Just what? she has the the frame. I'm hot. I don't understand this. My brain is about to implode. She has the. Uh, 
Yes, like she has the infrastructure laid out in her head mm. right, of the set out paths she can take. That's right. Um, which is, I guess, what is called rag, right? Um, is this then, composed this way, or is is are this like like uh, they mean improvisations? I doubt. Or on I doubt the it. composition um, of the composition. I guess they're giving, or this is this will be your section, and then they decide depending on the key of things. No, but which, like, which, uh, like, is it Yaman? Is it that, you know, that, 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 is or it, is it Rag Yaman or is it, or was it composed is it based this on the way? Key? Uh, it That's what be. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to understand. Was this like laid out specifically in this manner because of the exposition? I still itself? find it very difficult to, or is it because AR wrote it, it in this, manner? this way? Yeah. I mean, I still find it very difficult because that that's, it's, I guess that was, uh, I guess, hard to understand if perhaps you've grown up in that industry and then if you're someone like us who didn't, or in, not in that industry, in that music scene, and then if you're someone like us who didn't actually grow up in a completely different way, um, it's hard to understand that in these sections, if you were in a song <laughs> in, you know, in South America or the West, I guess, this would be considered improvs. This is the section yeah. to be liberated. And this all choices are uh, artistic not, choices, exactly. not they written. Are, they are not. There's no infrastructure. There's no framework. Uh -huh. There's only keys in which you can operate in. But you can actually, if you like, you know, you, you look at drummers. You, but you very rarely play. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, you but you very I mean? rarely singing wise. You very rarely play with the suspended and diminished. You you very rarely even try to create accidents in the melody. Very very strange. In the West, you get given the illusion of freedom. Yeah. In it seems here in in India, which I guess is Southeast, right? That's is is Southeast Asia. Yeah. Um, you get given the true freedom. However, it's very it's, structurized. Well, it's put under a framework. But you have way more choices than you would if you were, uh, you know, in the predicament in your, of Western music. In your natural chromatic scale. Exactly. You see what I mean? You certainly don't have all the choices, but you have more choices. Me, go on. Let me, let me make this comment. Yes, yes, go ahead, Daddy. Um, time ago, about a year ago, I was with a friend from Hong Kong. Uh -huh. Yes. And I asked him about their language. Yeah. And he said, you need to born again. Be born again. Yeah, be born again to learn to speak my language. Oh, yeah. Jesus. I think it's the same. With, uh, <laughs> you need to be to, born, to be born in India. To understand To, understand yeah, to be born again and be born there. Yeah. Because this, and I mean, maybe, you know, look at the fella on the left, right? I, I think that's why that's such the a big deal. The internationality throughout the whole display. The guy of... who's also the violinist and the other, you know, I think he's... Maybe from, I don't know, wherever he's from. I don't know. It could be from a different completely uh, place in the world and culture and everything. The other day I was trying to do in copy in Garage Band. Yeah. The chords from one of the Indian musics from the string section. No, you cannot. I didn't find it. No, yeah. have a good time <laughs> trying to experiment. <laughs> well, they, these guys have also, you know, spent their lives. Mm -hmm. This is, they're, they're completely invested mm -hmm. in yeah. this. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They're consumed this by this course, their, yeah. Yeah, this is their area of expertise. That's and right. just like everything, you know, maybe maybe what you're trying to do is sort out, the, the figure out the mass of the sun when you <laughs> haven't even begun to understand the principle of gravity. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Perhaps it's in the same manner, right? It is. Um, yeah. On point. <laughs> yeah, per, per, perhaps, it, perhaps they're just as remote concepts yeah. as that. So these guys have certainly, and, and there is now, we know, because it's academia, there is obviously a syllabus. It's a path. There is a pathway mm -hmm. in which I'm sure they, and if you ask some of these teachers, they can tell you, no, there is a way and you don't need to be born again. And I actually, a way. I actually believe that's what's so fascinating about this specific course in Berkeley. Uh, it, because to to understand uh, the, the freedom that it's... Uh, acquired through this type of music and the unity feel that it's only experienced when you're singing together when you're seeing it in the moment a life experience um to to be able to encapsulate those those emotions those feelings in the you have something in your <laughs> thanks um <laughs> 
to encapsulate well, mate, those feelings. You better feelings. thank me because that <laughs> hair was literally going to be in your eye. Uh, to encapsulate that, <coughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, to encapsulate those feelings and, and that the whole environmental uh, experience that this the Indian music it provides yeah. into a whole syllabus, into a whole um study program that to me it's a it's, it's a prowess it's something you know it's a success in its own because it's from berkeley it, because this is an exposition from berkeley yeah. uh, which is uh well, you that, know it's written by ar raman which this some of the most um, is... complexes ones that we've seen yeah composed have been by him yeah i mean anyways go on continue this is absolutely insanity her voice <laughs> This is the only time in the whole of that section that we heard something different, apart from a sustained chord. And you see how even the men are singing the same frequency as the women? It's like a paratito, what the fuck? <laughs> it is. It's a, but that's the beauty of AR, a, ARs and his compositions. Like, he got a really great grasp of understanding melody with the lyricism that actually is so intricate as if it was on a rhythm, r rhythmical pattern alone. So he integrates rhythm into singing in a way that feels natural, yet it's incredibly music musically complex. His compositions are, a, a, you know, you could break your brain trying to figure them out. Yeah, they really are. It's a really fire. It's cross phrasing. And, and it caught my attention that all the members of mm -hmm. the chorus line, yeah, they are clapping without making noise. It's like a muted type of clap. Exactly. It's like it's something and really. Then, and then you can hear all the minor percussion. The tabla. I love that bloody sound, dude. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's magical. It want... really is an environmental thing. Like it, it really creates a completely new environment. Yeah. Yeah. For New Year, I'm gonna buy one. A I'm, de I'm definitely yeah, like in January, I'm buying one. That's and I've been saying that for like the last month. <laughs> it's just I've, I've been having to learn this long, ass stupid list of songs. <laughs> it's not, it's not stupid. It's it's great. You play them fantastically. No, but so long though. Like it's like fifty-seven thousand songs. <laughs> And I haven't had any time. I literally haven't played the bongos or anything. Like bongos. That. Or I haven't, you know what I mean? It's just been drumming, 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 drumming. And um, I guess the cajon I've been playing lately, right? Mm -hmm. For yeah. church. Because of the church. Um, yeah. But apart from that, it's just been drumming. And I want to, you know, at the end of the Expand. day, I'm a minor percussionist. Yeah. I'm not a drummer. And I, I want to implement minor percussion with the drums. That's right. Not that I want to put other minor percussionists out of work. <laughs> but I want to do both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? There's, there's a few drummers that have done that really well. Dave Weckl has yes. done that shit so well. Yeah. Big inspiration, that guy. Fantastic. You know? Anyways, go on. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I got 
goosebumps all over. Wow, they're all kneeling as well. What yeah, the that's fuck? another that's another thing that I wanted to point out. To, <laughs> again, for the way of singing, because it's a very unified uh, uh, sound, the the positioning and the way they're kneeling, uh, you know, sitting on their heels, uh, it's actually easy to sing that way because you're the the, the whole of grounded your, as well. Yeah, like, the whole of your spine is actually pretty straight. But let me tell you, those thighs and your legs will be falling asleep halfway through that. It is hard to maintain that positioning for the sake of, of yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but it's, it's similar to um, in karate. Yeah. The same. Is the, is you, they like fall asleep? asleep? You need to be born again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> the same as this. They, but they go all the way years, back, yeah. right? They go like literally, they're like They're here. sitting, yeah. They're yeah. sitting on their I heels. Spent 10 years of my life to say I can do. The, the position in, in the karate. What do they call it uh -huh. in karate? Yeah, um, we, we used to call it mukso. 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 Yeah, which is a, a very deep meditation State, position. yeah. 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 Um, only for meditation. We yeah. do it only for meditation purposes. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and to recover. Okay. But it took me very long. <laughs> yeah. It's a very uncomfortable. Here it gets exactly. It's an unnatural, right. yeah. It's an unnatural position. So I suppose, obviously, for them, it's already second nature. You get mm -hmm. used to it. But it's a, it's not a difficult uh, from a breathing standpoint. Oh, it's really? actually a really easy way to sing because your whole airflow from the bottom of the abdominal wall all the way up to the back of the neck, yeah, it's completely straight. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. definitely the scales are even more complicated. The composition itself is complicated. Mm -hmm. The the arrangement in which they decided to go, the approach that they decided to take from this uh, song is complicated. I uh, wonder where the kneeling comes from though. I think Why? it comes from, remember that the the, the Indian musical uh, music comes from classical, comes from med spirituality from religion and a lot of of their uh worshiping is done so, yeah, sitting down so hindu hindu is the religion hindi is the language mm -hmm. um and uh, yeah that's what i know yet we're so wonderful far. so a, a lot of the stuff is done kneeling and sitting down so uh i would think that it's a natural progression to understand you know go deeper into the singing from and uh, yeah, sitting or kneeling down the techniques called rags yeah rag, rag, yeah 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 there's yeah. definitely that involved i mean sagum as well sagum mm -hmm. i don't think there was as much sagum here i don't know um, i don't know i i don't know anything yeah um let us know what you guys thought about it um certainly if you're discovering just like us this is a very deep uh, dive that we're trying to do and we're trying to understand Hopefully we don't have to be reborn in order to understand. Uh, <laughs> or this to type hold the grasp a little bit. Yeah, into it. Uh, that would be my objective as the months progress. I mean, it's certainly taken us time with other industries as well to. Good to, luck with that boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that boy. Um, but yeah, let us know what you thought about it. And if you do have any of these answers that we're, we're questioning, do please share them. Um, perhaps we are repeating some questions um, from the past. Uh, it's just. They're presented in different ways, this in in different pieces. So yeah, perhaps the answers are you guys have already explained some of these. Um, but yeah, don't don't hesitate on letting us know more and uh, tune in on the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>